Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is very exciting because we are starting a new mini series on the channel. We are making a residential area. So I've seen lots of these and I used to have one on my original island and I love residential areas. I think they're so cute, especially when they are like tiered. So we're doing one on the island, but we're gonna try and make it not too structured. So I kind of planned out this windy path that we're gonna have and it kind of leads around by residential area, uh, resident services, sorry. And then up towards the back of the island and then there's gonna be an incline with some of the houses on. And yeah, this is gonna be a little mini series on the channel. So this is part one of the series as we are doing the first house. And there'll be a part for every single house that we do. And yeah, I'm really excited, really hyped. Clementine is excited. <laughs> so let's start designing. <laughs> this is gonna be really fun. We're starting today with Roll's house and we have six, uh, five other villagers to do. And here you can see on my map where I'm planning for the houses to kind of be. And yeah. So I start out with a cliff by Rod's house because I don't want it to look kind of too structured and unnatural. I really want it to be like, kind of like the residential area was built around the nature and not the other way around, I guess. So some of the houses are gonna be like wrapped around with cliffs and some are going to be on the cliffs and there's going to be a little incline and it's going to be really cute it's definitely a great way to organize your villagers if you don't know how to decorate their houses individually because i did not know how to make a cottage core slash mush core themed jock house i just i didn't know what to do so this is a much more like general house build it's not really based on his personality it's more based on what I want my island to be and here I'm just getting some trees because I've started kind of trying to store my trees <laughs> But yeah, the day I recorded this footage, I was just so stuck for ideas and I really wanted to do a resident area. I kind of played with the idea before and it just looked too town-like and that's not really what, I'll, what I want my island aesthetic to be. I don't want it to look like a town. I want it to look very natural and kind of just, kind of like it's built around the wilderness. So I think we're gonna really get that done with this little mini series. And it's exciting. It's very exciting. I apologise if you can hear Clementine playing in the background. As we all know, I am a mum to a one-year-old. Well, she is one year one years old tomorrow, so that's exciting. We're gonna have her little quarantine birthday party with just me, her and her dad. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. So you want to wish her a happy birthday feel free to message my instagram <laughs> she won't understand but i will <laughs> and here i start doing my little puzzle trick with the path just kind of laying out a little puzzle for me to fill in and goldie and rolf uh, upset each other so I had to cheer up Goldie and I was going to cheer up Rolf but then he was happy by the time I finished speaking to Goldie so I was like, oh okay, it can't have been that bad. <laughs> but I couldn't bear to see Goldie be so upset, her little face. I do do some travelling 
at time traveling off screen in this video I've been trying to cut out like bits where I go to my house or I need to like time travel and stuff to grow trees so just trying to make the footage a bit more crisp for you I guess like edit it down to just the important stuff and you, d you guys don't need to see me running back to my house like six times in one video so I really tried to cut that down and make it much more compact with just what you need to see I guess so yeah if you just see like random jumps it's because it's a different day or something so yeah and Rolf really wanted to help with the path and he was not helping he was getting in the way so bad he was like so annoying <laughs> this isn't even his house But yeah, this video was originally like 20 minutes long before I cut out like me going to my house and stuff. And the actual footage is 49 minutes. So yeah, I, I just, I'm so bad. I don't plan these. I don't plan what furniture I'm gonna use. See, jump in time. The grass is suddenly a different color. <laughs> I didn't even notice that when I was editing the footage, but yeah. It's just to make sure my trees are growing in and everything and I want it to look as polished for you guys as possible. And then I'm just kind of putting out some plants and my mushrooms and this area here really annoyed me for so long. Uh, it was just a bit annoying to kind of deal with so I was like I'm going to come back to that. I don't know what I'm doing there. And I wanted to make sure I decorated this bit next to the cliff, even though it is kind of hidden behind the sunken waterfall bit. I still wanted it to be decorated and kind of just have like my mushrooms and stuff. Because I am trying to make like an attention to detail on my island, which I never used to do. <laughs> but I really want it to be filled and decorated and looking nice and just full. I really like having four islands now. It's it's a cute look. I really like the look. And I'm using a lot of orange flowers because after my last video, I had a very generous person bring me a bunch of orange and black flowers. So I was very, very grateful. <laughs> I'm not even a big fan of the color orange. It's just on this island for some reason. Orange is everything. <laughs> I, you wouldn't think that my favourite colours are blue and pink and green because those are my real favourite colours but I just don't use them on my island. I just love the autumn feel on this island and it's so pretty so I think my next island will have a lot more colour in it definitely. <laughs> So with this awkward area I decided to just kind of extend the path behind the tree and make it kind of wrap around and have the area a bit more linked I guess by path because I really didn't know what to put there and I didn't want to block off the lake so I just kind of made sure you could still see the lake and just extending the path out really made it look so much better than it was because I didn't know what to put in that blank space. I was so, so like confused of what to do and I didn't want to put a tree right in the way of the lake view and I was stressing but we got there in the end and it looks hella cute so I'm happy. It's just a really cute area to kind of walk through. And it just connects better to the pier. It kind of makes it look like the pier is part of Rolf's garden almost. Not Rolf, Rolf. 
This is Rold house, Rold's house. So yeah, it kind of looks like it's part of his garden, which I only just thought until watching the footage back. <laughs> but that is really cute. <laughs> I kind of like that. I wish I planned that. But some of the best ideas aren't planned. There was a joke I could have said there, but I'm just going to leave that as it is. I'm trying to be child friendly. <laughs> Also, I just wanted to thank you guys for 230 subscribers. Like, this is crazy. I can't believe we've already reached 230 when we only hit like 200 like a couple weeks ago. And yeah, we're growing and it's making me so happy. And I'm really happy that we're starting to get our little uh, community. And I see like people that comment on every video and it's like, I recognize you from my last video. and. It makes me excited to see you guys coming back like it makes me so happy like i re responded to someone's comment the other day like i see her on all my videos commenting and it just makes me so happy and yeah and i have drawn the winner for the art giveaway so i will respond to their comment on my resident services video and then hopefully they'll get in touch with me and if not i will draw another winner and We'll see how it goes and then I will be hosting some giveaways on my Instagram very soon because I was lucky enough to visit some treasure islands so we're going to be doing some big giveaways. Also while I'm talking announcements um, I am going to be opening an Etsy store very very soon selling art prints and things like that so um, if you go to my Instagram I will have a link on there when it's out and probably a countdown and stuff to when it's coming out I still want to draw some more designs that I want to be selling but I'm super excited they are going to be Animal Crossing related but they're not going to be directly related to my channel it's just going to be like cute villager drawings and stuff like that um, and it will mean that I can offer art commissions in form of prints now so that is very exciting I'm not sure if I'm going to be transporting all my commission work to Etsy or if I'm still going to do that direct because I like talking about the commission to the customer so we'll see but in terms of now I'm just excited to be starting to sell Animal Crossing prints. I love them, I've got so many around my desk and they're just the cutest thing ever so it's really exciting. And I incorporated the spooky chair which made me happy because it's really cute but I find there's not many places on my island to put it but it's like really pretty so it's frustrating. <laughs> and then here I am just dropping some mushrooms on the ground because I like the look of the mushrooms. It's kind of like wild mushrooms are growing through the path. Kind of like the design on my path in general but with actual 3D mushrooms. I think it just makes the path pop that tiny bit more and look even more like natural to the island. <laughs> Clementine, no. She's in her playpen and she's making a horrible noise. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> the joys of trying to record with a one-year-old. Right here, right now. And then I just kind of filled this path in a little bit to make it look like it was going somewhere just because I wanted to be able to take photos and not have 
a half broken path in the way so I do just fill that in a little bit but we kind of go over that a bit more in the next video and I couldn't get this uh, <laughs> balloon <laughs> And with that, that is the build done. I'm so happy with this area. Like, it turned out so pretty and so natureful and just, it's really nice. I'm like super pleased with it. And it's so pretty. And it's a really good start to the residential area. So thank you all for watching I really appreciate you being here make sure you follow my social medias because I always update on there and goodbye everyone <laughs>